I'm Darren from Metal Roofing Online and this is Aiden. He's going to be giving me a hand today. We're going to install the Lysart's Novaline metal fascia. Okay. So the first thing you need to do, well the first thing you need to um, know is you need a big level like this and a square attached to it. Um, before you get started you need to ask your builder how far he wants the back of the metal fascia off the frame. In our occasion here, I'm going to make it about 180. Most normal applications on a job site is about 150 mil off the frame uh, to suit the brickwork. Or if you've got an eave, you may keep it 450 off the frame or 600 mil. That's where this will come in handy. Okay, so you want to get your level off the top plate. That's the best place to get it and you want to mark your two end ones. So I'll get started. How are we looking, Aiden? Mate, spot on. <laughs> okay, I'll do the same down the other end. Now once you've got your marks on there like that, you need to work out where those marks are going to run through these different series of holes on the bracket. You want the top part level with that. So with that, with that mark through there, roughly in the middle of that one there. So we've got to keep those consistent. And this other one. Okay. So as you can see, I've run the, um, that level vertical line up the edge of that, the hole there and that hole there. And that one's going through the center of that one. Um, so what we need to keep in mind is once we've decided on that, we need to keep them all consistent. So if you've got a massive house that you need to put all these up on. You've got to keep those holes consistent all the way around and you'll know that the face is level the whole way around the job. Could I have another one of those brackets, please, Aiden? Thank you, sir. That's all right, Mike. Great helping. If a moral support. Okay, make sure that's right, yep, same as the other side. So I've done that exactly the same as the other end. I've got that lined up with the edge there and straight through the middle of that bottom one. Put a couple more screws in. Okay, because this bit of fascia is only about four and a half metres long, we don't need to set a string line up with this. But if you had it any longer than that, you'd need to set up a string line between the brackets so you can fill in your middle ones. Okay? Do you want to grab that end please, Aiden? Thanks mate. I'm just going to hook it onto the bottom and then roll it over the top. Just lift it onto that bracket. 
we go. Okay, I'll put this middle one in. If you look along the line of it and tell me if it's straight. Although I need another bracket, please. Thank you. Yeah, so if you look along that top edge there and tell me if it's straight. Uh, a bit curved, but... What would you like me to, if I bring it out yeah, a bit? Beautiful. Is that better? Uh, yeah. What about the bottom one? Does that need to be adjusted? Now nah, you're on. All right? Yep. I'll just double check it to make sure he's not tricking me. Yeah, it's good. Okay. It's nice. Okay, a couple more brackets, please. Thank you. Each bracket you need to have about three, three screws in it. Uh, just need one more bracket for that one, Aiden. Could you peel the plastic off that for me, please? Just grab it from the corner there, yeah. Yeah. With a 90 degree fascia miter like this, it's, it's meant for a house when the fascia runs around the corner level. But because we're going up on the angle here, I want to cut this back a bit on that side to turn it into a barge mould. I'll show you how I do that. <laughs> Where's my square gone? <laughs> Thank you.
check that that's square. There we go. Mark it in case it moves. Now we just need to work out our distance that we want to keep the fascia off the side bit here. Uh, so I've made it 205mm off the frame on that bit, so I could do the same on here. No, I might make it a bit closer. Maybe. Okay, the side bit's going to work out about 135. Okay. So to stop the fascia from moving, I'll put a nail in it. Thank you. Just be careful not to dent the fascia. So as I said, the back of the face has worked out about 135 mil off the sides there, which is fine for this setup that I've got here. I'll try and make it exactly the same down the other end. I'll just mark exactly to the side of the frame there. And then to make it the same as the other side, it was 135. So I'll cut this one at 130. That gives us room to put our barge mould on the corner there. To cut the fascia, it's a good idea to have the left and the right hand offset tin snips. Just makes it a lot easier. Okay. Now I'll cut this one to turn it into a barge mould as well. How am I doing, Aiden? Uh, not bad, could be better. Yeah? What do I need to work on? Your form, mate. It's oh. terrible. And your cutting, it's not straight. Okay. Thanks for the positive feedback. <laughs> but other than that, it's looking real nice. Okay. I couldn't have done it better myself. And I mean well, that literally. If you watch this video enough times, you'll be able to do it better yourself.
Might make it five mil wider than the other side. So I haven't got as much room up the side there. That's better. Okay. So that one's 140 mil off the frame. So I need to put a bracket at the, the end one and make it 140 mil the same as that one. And then we can run that bit of fascia down. Get that nice and level. Could I have a bracket please, Aiden? Thank you, sir. Good job. Thanks, man. Now I'll just measure what I need to make this side piece. You just hold that about just a little bit past, yeah. Thank you. Five fifty. Okay. to there and um, let that one go for us. Okay. okay, I'm just going to cut this little bit here on an angle so that it sits nicely inside that barge mould.
Okay, bend that a little bit. Let the plastic off. Could you do that for me, Aiden? Oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. Whoop. Yeah, that sits perfectly. Sure, that's level. It's pretty close. Just grab a couple more brackets while Aiden's busy. I'll just get a temporary screw in that. And I'll just check if it's straight or not. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, now we'll do the other side. So we're 135 mil at the bottom there. So I'll make this top bit the same. That's it. Thank you. Just hook that top bit on for us. Good job.
Not going too fast for you, am I, Aiden? No, mate, you're, doing, you're going right. Okay. Do you mind peeling this plastic again? Of course not. You seem to be really good at that. Oh, it only, it takes a while to pick it up, but after a while of doing it like, like I've, I have, yeah. but, um, you, you learn to pick up a few things along the way. Oh, you're doing well. It's nice. That's it. Best part of the job, right? Let's see what's underneath. Do you like the colour? I love the colour. I think me and the colour have a lot in common. Yeah. Hmm. You're kind of right there, yeah. yeah. Didn't think about that. What about you, Darren? Do you like the colour? Um, I must admit it's not my favourite colour. Oh, yep. why is that? It's not a cheap shot at your hair, it's just the fact that I'm just not a big fan of the colour. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I think Monument's my favourite colour. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of grey. <laughs> 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 Shale grey. <laughs> uh, I like that. Very brittle grey. <laughs> <laughs> Not a shot of your hair at all. <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Okay, how straight are we? Um, I'd say we're first straight, mate. In a little bit or not? Oh yeah, go in a little bit, yeah. Beauty. What about the bottom line? Do you want me to adjust it? Yeah, adjust it, mate. It's about as straight as official. There you go. Yeah. Gorgeous. Me or the fascia? I've got to say, mate, over the years, they've been kind here. <laughs> uh, two more brackets, please. Thank you. You're going to run me Okay, this last piece is our most tricky one, but we'll give it our best shot. You got some more brackets, Aiden? That's not going to work, I'll have to go a bit further. Somewhere there, I think. Now this is just a temporary bracket. So I can work out the line.
Okay. Now I'll just get a shorter bit of fascia to make it easy. Okay, when you bend this side around, you gotta be really careful not to dint it. So you just do it really slowly. Finish bending this off. Whoa. That top bit will get covered up by a capping anyway, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Go down to the other end and do the same thing.
that up a little bit. Okay, same thing. Just take your time when you're bending this bit. Whoop, that's why. Okay, sorry that took so long. That's alright. You haven't fallen asleep? No, no. Actually, you could step up now, Aiden, and you could hold the tape measure for me. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, right at the end there. Yeah, right. Thank you. <laughs> Down at the bottom. And at the top. Okay. I'll just cut this other piece. I'm working you hard now, mate. Just take those couple of brackets off because they're going to get in the way. Okay, while I'm attaching this end, you'll just need to hold on to that end. How does it look for length?
Just back to you a little bit. Okay. Sorry, mate, I'm taking your job. Okay, I'll just only put the two rivets in for now and I'll just check the other side. Okay. Aiden, I'll just get you to hold the middle just in case it drops at any stage so that I'm not holding it. So it doesn't hit me in the leg. I might just have to take those two rivets out to get that in. You really need to catch up there. You got the middle? Okay. If you hold that in. Gotcha. Okay, could you peel that plastic off since you're so good at it? Oh, you've lost a bit. You're slipping. I'll get it for you, mate. <laughs> I think he's forgotten how to do most of his job. There you go. Thanks, Mike. I saved you. What would I do with that? She tried to run away. She tried to run away. Could you hold on to that end again? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, back to that end.
Okay, I'll just put this middle bracket on again if you want to line it up. Pleasure, mate. Would you like a brand spanker bracket? Yeah. Go. Yeah, I would. Yeah, nice and shiny. Thank you. Oh, I reckon that bottom could come out a little bit. The top's good. Yeah, I'll pull that bottom out a little bit. Is that better? How's that now? Is that throwing the top out? A little bit, yeah. What does it need to do? It needs to go to you. It's smooth enough. Okay. What about the top? The top's fine. The bottom needs to go there. Yeah. Beautiful. You happy with that? Happy. Oh yeah. That's better. Okay. Bracket man. I'm a bracket man. <laughs> the, the Beatles sang a song about me. Bracket man. Is that the Beatles? You're rocket man. That's definitely Elton John. <laughs> I didn't live in the 40. <laughs> This is cozy. Well, I'm loving, I'm loving being with you. It's always a small No such thing as boundaries or personal space. No. Nah. Nah. I love it when you invade my personal space. Secrets. I think it's something in public. <laughs> I'm so glad you helped me. <laughs> in so many more ways than one. It's a good camera angle. Right the nostrils. <laughs> No, don't go up my nostrils. Oh, there's no, I've got the snivels. No good news up there. Not this time anyway. I think people have probably worked out I've got the snivels by now. Oh, you used my word. I love that word. Excuse me. One to go. Okay, a few more rivets. We're just about done.
got that hammer, Aiden? I'll just give that a bit of a knock. Thank you. Aiden, just need that hammer back once more, mate. Okay. That's basically it. Hope that's um, given you guys at home a bit of inspiration to tackle a job like this on your own. Um, there's a little bit of work in it, but as long as you get those brackets straight and the fascia straight like that, it should come up a treat. I hope you all enjoyed our DIY how to put metal fascia up today. Um, yeah, if you did, please subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing a load more videos similar to this of how to install the guttering and the roofing. Uh, thanks, Aiden, for giving me a hand. That was great, mate. No worries, mate. Um, yeah, thank you. Bye bye.